Hey and welcome back to the channel. In this AI video tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can use Kaber AI, which is a tool which can create AI images as well as AI videos, which I think is very, very cool. However, it's a bit different in terms of the UI and I think is the right thing to do to explain to you guys how to use this tool. At least compared to the Korea, which has a lot of the UI going on right here, I will show you guys how you guys can use Kaber AI, which which is a bit different. So without any further ado, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already and like this video. Now, make sure that you create an account for Kaber.ai and I will also put a link for it in the video description below. One important thing here is that you have 200 free credits with a free account and I think it's totally worth it. However, you guys can also click here on upgrade and upgrade to more capable model of the Kaber AI. Here you can see monthly it's only around $15 per month or you can also go to annual model and you will pay $120 per month. Now let's go here to the Kaber AI and let's create something really really cool. So Kaber AI works as a canvas. So what does that mean? It doesn't have the UI, but it has really cool canvas. So basically a playground. And here I will show you guys how to use this tool. Now here, click on plus and this will open the flow menu. And here we have core flows. For example, you guys can go with Luma video, flux image, image lab, video lab, video restyle, image upscale, profile picture restyle or logo restyle. Here I will just generate flux image for this first example. Now here we have the subject and here I will go to leonardo.ai which is another really cool amazing AI tool for AI image generation. I think this one is also very easy to use and free to use by the way. However, if you want to upgrade to one of more premium versions of leonardo.ai, make sure that you do so by clicking the first link in the video description. That way you also get to support this channel which is highly appreciated. Now once here I will look for the prompt inspiration. I think I will go just with this bird right here here. I'll just copy the prompt just like so and I'll go back to the kaber.ai. Now inside kaber here I'll under the subject paste this prompt. So this is basically the prompt copied from the leonardo.ai. For the aspect ratio I will go with 16 by 9. I will lock the aspect ratio and here we have the width and the height. So this is pretty much it and now we can click here on this smiley and this will generate the image. So let me just show you how this one looks like at the moment. So here we have this progress which looks like a gradient and uh, right now I'll just wait for it to finish generating and here we have our first image. Now we can also create a collection from this first image. We can add it in a flow or we can even edit the image. For example, you guys can crop it. And if I click here, you guys can increase or decrease brightness, contrast, grayscale or saturation, which is really, really cool here. Now you can also download this image if you want to. And that is pretty much it here. If you want to duplicate it, you can also do so by just clicking on the three dots here and then you can click on duplicate and then you can also recreate flow. Now I will move this image somewhere here. Now what I will show you guys right now is to click on plus here on the flow menu and let's go here to the image lab. Now image lab, I think it's a more powerful version of this same one. So here what I am going to do here, I'll just go here to the subject prompt and I will paste in the same prompt as we as we used it for this first image. And here down below, I will upload an image from the Leonardo. So from this image here, I'll just download it just like this and go to the Kaber and here I'll choose a file. I'll go with this bird once again. And now we have one of the references and here you can also change the aspect ratio and width and the height. I will leave it as it is. And here I'll click on plus. So right now, let's see what will happen with this AI image generation. And now here we have it. So this is the image which we have right now. I think it looks okay. And it's also looking very, very cool. Now, let me just show you guys how you can create a video here in Kaber. You will find two of the options. First one is Luma video. And then the second one is video lab. I'll just first show you Luma video. So if I click on here, I will put it somewhere here just like so. And then we can use Luma video to create a simple video using Kaber.ai. 
So for the subject, I will go to Leonardo.ai. By the way, if you want to use paid account for Leonardo.ai, make sure that you use the first link in the video description and sign up. That way you also get to support this channel. Now here, what I'll do, I'll just, I think I'll just copy this one and copy the prompt and put it somewhere here for the subject. Now for the video details, I will leave it to 16 by nine and I will enable loop video. So you guys can stitch together the same video. Let's say the end of the video will match the start of the video in your editing software. Now for a star keyframe, I will go here to Leonardo and I will download this one right here. And here I will find another very similar image. Let's say this one right here and I will download this one. So just like this. And now we can go back to Kaber and here I'll choose a file. So in this case, this this image and now I will add another one which is this one. So let's take a look how this looks like. So here we have this image from Leonardo as well as this one and now we can click here to create a video. So here you can see loop is not supported for keyframes. So this is what you have to look for if you want to create this video. So make sure that you uncheck this and now we can just click once more to this smiley and right now we should have a, a new video. So here you guys can take a look how this video is actually generating. So this was actually quite fast and here we can see this really cool video and this transition. So here we have from this first image it goes into really smooth transition to this last image or the end keyframe right here. I think it looks okay and you guys can also download it if you want to. However, if you click here on the three dots, you guys can duplicate it or recreate the flow. Now what I'll do here, I'll click on another flow menu and here I will go to the video lab and now I will do something else. So here for the subject prompt, I will go to Leonardo.ai and let's see something really, really cool. Let's say this image right here. I think it looks okay. Click on plus or click on this to copy the, the prompt to the clipboard and here I'll paste it somewhere here. Now I'll go back to the home of Leonardo and download this image as well. Go back to Kaber and here I will upload this image. So this one right here and we have here video details. For example, I will enter here, let's say 10 seconds. So as you can see here, the maximum length of the video is actually 16 seconds. So here I will type in 16 and then we have here the aesthetic prompt. If I click on this, this will open Kaber style. So how your video wants to look like. I think I will go with the photo realistic just like this. And now I can click on the smiley face and let's see what will Kaber.ai actually generate. And now this is our pretty much final video. I think it looks okay. And uh, yeah, here you can also download it. And uh, I believe this one is 16 seconds long. So this is pretty much a lot of the seconds nonetheless. So yeah, this is pretty much how you guys can use Kaber.ai. I would show you guys also this video restyle tool, but unfortunately I don't have enough credits to show you. So yeah, this is pretty much it for this video. I hope you got a brief preview of how to use Kaber.ai. If you got a value from this video, make sure to smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you all around in the next one.